Hello friends, welcome to our channel Google Galaxy. Hope everything is fine. Continue with this lecture, idle and non-idle solution. When we are having the binary solution, binary means a solution which which is having the two components. A solution with three components are known as ternary solution. When a solution has two components, we we call it as binary solution when the binary solution of volatile liquids what does volatile means volatile means the liquid which can evaporate we are not talking about the volatile solutions non volatile are those which are not evaporate sugar is added, added into the water the sugar is acting as a non volatile so it does not obey Rolt law. Make sure that you have seen the video of Rolt law to continue with this lecture, or you can search on our channel. You will find easily the lecture on Rolt law. When we are having a binary solution, binary solution having two components, component A and component B, may be water. or alcohol when these two when these two mix one is acting as a solute another one is acting as solvent both are having the volatile nature that both can evaporate to form water vapors when placed in a closed jar after some time there will be evaporation of both a and b components so the particles will now going to exert pressure on the jar surface and on the on the water surface water and alcohol surface now when we are having the two types of when we are having the binary solution it is classified into two types this solution may be act as idle solution or may be act as non idle solution so how we can identify whether this solution will act as idle or non idle it is similar to one that a patient having certain it is similar to one it is similar to the patient that a patient is having some symptoms of having some disease if the symptoms does if the symptoms do not appear on his on his body we say that a person has the person need not any treatment if the symptom arises on his body we called that that a person that, that a patient needs to be treated needs to be treated well by a doctor similarly a solution how we can say a solution behave the rolt law yes we can easily identify rolt law that how we can identify whether a solution is idle or non idle we can easily identify a solution is idle or non idle using the rolt law if it is if a solution strictly obey if a solution obey rolt law under all temperature and concentration we call it as idle solution we call it as idle solution so what are the how we can identify a solution is behaving as an idle or non idle there are few characteristics there are few points there are few characteristics which can easily identify whether a solution is idle or non idle the first thing is it must obey obey a rolt law if it is obey rolt law then we called as idle solution make sure that you have seen the video on rolt law otherwise you will not able to understand this concept 
if it if it does not obey a rot law we called it as non idle solution does not obey rot law the second one we are having uh let let we are having this solution in order that a solution may behave idly the solute and solvent must be of same nature remember one thing they must be of same nature if a and b are non are two volatile components of solution then there should be no no change in magnitude of forces between a a there are number of particles present of same type there is number of particles are present of another type if we just mix these two components the overall result will be there will be mixing of there will be interaction of a and b particles so it means that ab interaction must be same as that of aa and bb interaction this is the second point this is the second characteristics which if it is having these types of characteristics we call the solution will acting as a idle solution so second point is so second point is second point is what that there should be no change in the magnitude no change in magnitude of forces when the components are mixed when components mixed as i told before that the a b must be same as that of a a and b b interactions when such solutions are prepared there be, there should be no change in volume there should be no change in volume so how this could be possible let me explain we say when we mix these two two volumes there will be no change that there will be no rise in there is no volume change the ch delta means change change volume will be zero how this could be possible this this is this may be similar to in that i have spread this fragrance in air so the fragrance will not raise the volume of air in a jar what does fragrance do fragrance does not going to increase the volume of the air in a jar if i just filled a water in a beaker and place and put another type of another kind of liquid the overall liquid will going to overflow from this beaker so we say the volume is not zero similarly when we say that the interaction overall interaction is not same is not same then we say the overall mixing volume will never be zero will never be zero so it will be a part of non idle solution we have some fragrance in air there will be no rise in the there will be no raise in volume there will be no change in the volume if this will happen when we mix the two binary solution giving the example of chloromethane and dichloromethane when we mix these two components the overall volume mixer will be zero as seen by the scientist we have to learn this concept because it is already discovered it is already published and the nobel prize was given to those scientist so overall theory can never be can never be never be wrong so remember this point the overall change in volume will be zero so there will be no change in enthalpy that there will be no change in enthalpy 
enthalpy enthalpy change is zero so non idle means it is opposite to that of idle so we say that if there will no change in magnitude of two components so here would be that a b interaction are different from a and b b interactions so there will be same case that of rise of that the overflow of two overflow of two components from the beaker so here now again so overall we say there will be change in volume when we mixed so overall change in volume mix will not be zero will not be equal to zero so again the enthalpy on mixing will not be zero there will be evolve or absorb of heat let's talk about the graphical representation for graphical representation we needs two things we first need the vapor pressure vapor pressure in second one we need the mole fraction the particles of of these two components will keep on evaporating and they form a pressure inside the jar so this one is vapor pressure and second one we are having the mole fraction so moles what are moles quantity of substance is represented in a chemistry language and how we can represent that quantity in terms of mole fraction means participation we have mixed two components a and b both are having some quantity we represent that quantity with the mole and their participation with the fraction we called as mole fraction so to represent the graphic representation of for the graphic representation of behavior of idle solution we need to draw graph between these two so by drawing this graph by drawing this graph we can easily understand the deviation we can easily identify the graph we can easily understand the idle condition there will be no deviation in this graph because it is behaving the rolt law it is obeying the rolt law and it is behaving the idly so we need to draw a graph between the vapor pressure vapor pressure and the mole fraction and the mole fraction that mole means quantity of substance fraction in terms of participation if the participation of a is more if we add water more in this beaker so we see the fraction of a is more so if the fraction if if so if the fraction is more if the fraction is more so we say the the, the quantity of substance will al will also be more so so when we are drawing the graph we are having the vapor pressure and the mole fraction mole means quantity of substance we can represent the quantity of substance as how we can represent the mole x a is equals to 1 and x b is equals to 0 what does this represent that the that the beaker is fill up of only one type of component we have just a one type of component we have till now what this this point represent this this point represent that we have not added the alcohol we have just added the water so b is zero so overall vapor pressure will be because of water only so we say only water means it, it is having the pure state so on the other side we are having component x a is equals to 0 x b is equals to 1 1 one means completely fill for for this at this point 
we are having the pure component b it means for, for this point what what does this point represents this points represents that we have again having a single component with, but in the absence of water x a x a means water so we have again pure condition that we have only an alcohol in a beaker and the vapor pressure is caused by the alcohol these two these two ends of this graph is representing these things so overall when we move to this side left left to right side when we move left to right side so there will be addition of addition of b component in the a so at the center there will be equal amount of equal amount of a and b so when we move left to right at the end of this at this point we are having the we have eliminate all the mole fraction of a b is in pure state so how we can represent this as so when we are having the mole fraction a in pure state mole fraction is b mole fraction of b is 0 it means that we have not added alcohol we are having the water in pure state when the only a water is added, having is in pure state so how we can uh, represent the pure state we we represent the pure state as p not as p not of a component a is acting as water so when a water is present in pure state the water is going to develop a vapor pressure by evaporating itself so on evaporating itself the vapor pressure keep on increasing it will raise up to this point so at this point there will be equal number of mole fractions so there so therefore so therefore there will be cross point over here similarly if we drag this point to this side here xb is equals to 1 it means it is a, it is in pure state xa is almost negligible almost zero that we have eliminate this a, a component so so vapor pressure will be only because of only because of b component so we will write it as in b component only so when we move to the uh, from left to right side there will be rise in the xb component and the decrease in the xa component so vapor pressure of a will keep on decreasing itself because the overall quantity of xa will be going to zero similarly from when we move from this point the overall vapor pressure of b is keep on decreasing till this point here the mole fraction of b is maximum overall is 1 as we move left right to left over here so there will be at this point at this point there will be equal amount so they will cross each other so therefore they will at this point there will be mole there will be xb 0 xa will be 1 so this is graph for the this is graph for the a this is graph for the b so overall partial pressure how we can represent the overall pressure will be as this one p is equals to p a plus p b this one is the this third line c line is represented by the partial pressure of both of them this is the graph for the idle solution